Artist Kim McConnell finds treasures in what others call trash. If you'd asked me then if I uh, would ever amount to anything as an artist, I would have said quite impossible. And uh, when I flunked out, I realized that there was no hope, so I went down to an art store and bought some paint and went back to my dorm room and uh, painted something on the wall, uh, which, I, which was a big expressionist, uh, masterpiece. <laughs> Got into Mesa College and took an art class and a poetry class and something else and uh, my art teacher recommended that I apply to UCSD. While I was in school it was kind of all over the place uh, from doing paintings to trying to put things together as objects, uh, trying to not paint uh, uh, and see what I could do just with color that was embedded in an object. It's almost 40 years worth of work, you know, from the mid-70s up until 2010. This is a retrospective. Uh, it's a compilation of years of work. Kim is interested in figuration and representing the figure sometimes. And, uh, of course, it's a very playful way to do it with beach trash and little clown figures. This is a representation of, of what I made in the early 90s, of, of approximately 400 of these. And they were made from this collection of detritus from the beach. This treasure trove of, of items, um, <laughs> this, uh, this gold, uh, basically comes from the beach. Uh, mostly San Diego County, North San Diego County particularly, um, as well as beaches in India and West Africa, uh, the Caribbean, Mexico. In other parts of the show you'll see other kind of more lyrical expressions of the human figure. And then he's also very interested in patterning and decoration. A lot of the work is layers of different patterns. The earliest work in the museum is from the early 1970s. Um, and most of the work is on fabric. It's, it's either on found fabric that I would buy in thrift stores and paint on and then sew, sew, to get, sew in various configurations. And they were based uh, essentially on Near Eastern textiles. I was kind of replicating that, but not by weaving, but by painting and painting very loosely. Kim has furniture scattered throughout the show, and it's kind of, you know, I think found or kind of secondhand furniture to begin with, and then he paints on it, um, and so it becomes an artwork, but it's still functional. He's hung fabric pieces, which you're welcome to sort of gently push aside to move into the next space, and he doesn't want people to be uh, aggressive with the work, but, he, but it's not precious for him. It's something to sort of live with. Actually, I was walking down the beach one time and uh, with a bag full of trash, and there was somebody sitting on the beach who obviously, to me anyway, looked like uh, he was homeless and drifting about. And uh, he, as I passed, he said to me, say, bro, how much do you get for that stuff? And I, all I could say was, well, it varies. <laughs>